Justin Willman, Justin Duke, thank you for yeah. being here very thank much. Thank you for having me. And this is a big day, man. Congratulations, because Magic for Humans Season 2 comes out now. It's right out now. now, right? It's yeah. out now. Yeah, it's available for everybody to watch on Netflix worldwide. Worldwide. And, uh, dude, I enjoyed the... Uh, this this opportunity came up relatively recently. I watched the show last season with, uh, with my wife, and we enjoyed it very much. So nice. this is awesome. You said I'm your really favorite glad. part was... Uh, yeah, dude, you're the only person who um, mm. uh, made a room for a number of children cry. Yeah, uh, just just ball their eyes out, and that made me want to meet you more. Like normally, when people make kids cry, it makes me want to meet them less. But that's that's my pocket. That's yeah. my my sweet spot. Yeah, that's good. Is stealing and now sweet, I'm stealing a, sweet things now from I'm a dad, and now I make one kid cry a lot. And yeah. I hate it. I want to not do that. Yeah, well, yeah. and so do you make him cry? So you got a, a one-year-old kid. Congratulations. Uh, thank you, yes. You made yeah. an entire human. Well done. I made a human. I'm doing that. And um, uh, do you make him cry on camera? No, or do you, no. So I try. Uh, my life goal now is just for him not to cry. Okay. The sound of his cry is the worst, most gut-wrenching noise in the world. Like, you don't want to make your child cry. Yeah. But every day, there's something you do wrong. Every day, you screw up. Yeah. Well, if you feed them too late, you you know you're you're something. The head bonks. Yeah. The struggle is real. Right. Yeah. How does he do with the production process? Because he's he's part of it, right? He's a big. He's part in of the sh- he's in the show. Yeah. I milked the hell out of that kid. Yeah. yeah. He's in the show. Well, the show's and a very card carrying SAG member. I heard he is as well. a SAG member. I did not know one year olds could be SAG members. Yeah, he's a negative one. Yeah. He turns one in a week. He um, the show's autobiographical. You know, it's kind of a show about life, and it's about people and what it means to be human and my only portal in is my portal in so kind of whatever I'm dealing with at the time and in this case this year's been about fatherhood we kind of um, you know tackled all the things that come along with that and what's what's interesting is that to have him on camera even though he's my my kid and it's like I'm his I'm his legal guardian you know there's all these legal loopholes I had to get him a state of California work permit and had to get him like in the system at like two months old you know uh, so the most get him adorable a Coogan account. Possible pro- process. Exactly. You have to get him his own little bank account just to make sure that you're not going to exploit your own child. There's it's a, a lot physically of smaller bank account. You can it's go to tiny. a smaller bank. It's to adorable. Do it. yeah. yeah, it's a little baby bank. Nice. nice. Sperm bank. Well, well, dude, I almost I for- <laughs> used to be. I almost forgot that we've got this. We got a bottle of champagne, man, because there's a lot to celebrate right now. So it's our, our Wednesday. Buds, it's dude. It's, is it noon? It's just past noon, so we've got that going for yeah. us as well. Um, Tell me more dad. about this you, champagne. A I'm a dad. You made a kid through magic or science, or Both I don't of those know how things. that happened, but it did. And uh, you got a show, man, and it's out today. Do you want to do the honors? I, I, I'd love to I, do the I honors. Just oh, it's already, did that. It's, already, I, it's already going. Yeah. Is it just going to happen? Watch. No way. <laughs> no. <sighs> Three, two, one. Man, that would have been beautiful if it just, if this wasn't live, we could trim out those two seconds. Jesus Christ. Hey, you man. loosened it though, buddy. You loosened it. Yeah. But I also, for the record, for the internet, like t- a minute before we went live, yes, thank you, I yelled out jokingly, Justin, you want to drink a bottle of booze before we go live? And I thought he was going to say, no, dude, that's a ridiculous thing to say. And he was like, yeah, let's do it. And all I need is to have it not be my idea. Oh, and then I don't wow. feel like an alcoholic. I am so If I say, hey, can we drink? It's morning for a thing. <laughs> I feel bad about myself. Unless I'm flying. If I'm traveling, yeah. bottoms up. Well, I but am, this was I your am idea. ultimately grateful that you have also you s- given me the permission to start drinking booze at 1230 in the afternoon. Pleasure. So. Thank you. Look at yeah, this. congratulations well, kind of on everything. Amateur pour did I give myself. Right? <laughs> um, so this is, yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. And this is a really cool space and uh, I thought it was an accident because I don't play music I'm the biggest music fan I love it but I'm tone deaf I, ha- I can't do I'm I'm I, w- I would I would make you hate music if you heard whatever <laughs> I called music that I make and this is a first for but us and we've cool. got the, the next band coming in I am a giant fan of the Robert Randolph and Robert Randolph and the family band Stevie's in that band I'm a giant so fan. these guys are the ones coming in right after this I've and seen so them live this a is couple the times. first uh, magic. How you can fit the whole family band in there? Oh my goodness, this it's, is exciting. It's uh, Stevie and Robert. Oh, that's Dude, amazing. Houston. Pedal steel and uh, bass. Incredible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we're celebrating the show. Can you tell us so what what sort of uh, uh, things can people expect from this upcoming season of Magic well, for Humans? You know, like I was amazed by the response from season one. Um, 
you know, you kind of, you, you work hard creating the show, but you, you're in like a little, you're in a bubble. You don't really know how the people will like it. You're just making the show that you would want to watch. And for me as a magician, it's a show about, you know, I don't want to do magic for magic's sake. Like, hey, here's a cool trick. I want it to be about something. So if I'm going to do a trick, I want it to be, you know, magic that is used to uh, peel a layer back on an interesting idea or, or be a portal into a world or a subculture that you may not know a lot about. Magic is a really good icebreaker into kind of interesting worlds. At least I found it to be that for me. And the response is great. So really season two, it's, it's one, let's, let's not screw up. Let's not, you know, mess up what people like. And like, how can we take it a little bit deeper? So, you know, I don't think of it as a show about magic. I think it's a show about people and how they react to magic, but exploring the, the themes of, of the human experience, you know, like fatherhood obviously is a big thing. We have a Christmas episode, which tis the season, but I've always loved Christmas since I was a kid. And I've, season one, I got a lot of parents upset at me because they thought I kind of ruined Santa Claus at one point, <laughs> which I was not intending to do, yeah. but I got a lot of Santas mad at me. So to make amends, I, I went to a Santa academy and tried to kind of offer up, you know, uh, came on bended knee trying to offer up what I could to, uh, to smooth things out. You don't want Santa's upset. So it, it's all good. Yeah, good. Yeah, and there's some surprises. Like, I just, I'm really, I really kind of put, put uh, a lot of authenticity in this time around. So it feels a little vulnerable, but I feel like the more real you are, the more real the rewards are when people dig it. Yeah, we were just Bob and I were watching the uh, the the green screen man and the green screen oh, yeah. uh, the the calling out the the fact that it's very easy to fake magic things on television shows yeah. and then and then flipping that entire thing on its head and watching what happens the difference between a, a requested reaction and then a real authentic reaction mm -hmm. and it's I mean I'm I'm very much looking forward to the second season I can't wait for you to see it yeah, yeah man. that episode I I'm I I'm really excited about that piece obviously like. You know, like, you work really hard. Like, magic is really hard. You have to, you know, especially, like, this day and age, you have to... People have already seen all the tricks that you have in your repertoire from season one, so you got to kind of really dig deep. So you put a lot of work into magic, and it does bug you when people are like, nah, it's fake. The people are actors. It's CGI. I'm like, I don't even know... I don't even know how I would do that with CGI, but yeah. <laughs> if you, I don't, uh, it, well, I, I should I mean, take I it was, as a compliment. It I, should be a great compliment. Like, oh, okay, I guess translation, right. it fooled them. So that's good. But I wasn't, I wasn't sure just setting this up and setting the cameras up. It was like, dude, I don't want to, I want to shoot it right. But then I asked you, is this shooting it right? And you're like, dude, whatever. That, whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Just do it like that. This and is about us. Yeah. I should do a quick trick here. Mm -hmm. If that's okay. Yeah, please. Because it's about us, right? right. Here. And as a magician, you kind of always have to be ready to do a thing. Because if you asked me, hey, can, can you, you show me something? And I had nothing, you'd, it'd be a little bit of a... A bit down. of a letdown. But dude, we've already started out with the... I don't know how that happened, but it did. It's disappearing quick. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say think of a playing card in a second. Okay. There's 52 cards in a deck. Ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king, club, starts, diamond, spades. Don't think of an obvious one. Like, think of, like, a, a stumper. And I've already made my, my guess. I, I, I'll, I'll, show, I'll show you in a second. So I'm locked in. But just name any card in the deck. Think about it for a second or two and just name it. Out loud right now? Yeah. Six of clubs. What, now, what made you say that? I thought seven, and I thought diamonds at very first, and then I thought that everyone likes the number seven, uh -huh. and then I thought that diamonds are nicer looking than clubs. Nobody likes a stupid club, so yeah. six of clubs. That's exactly, okay, that's what I was hoping. So before I came today, no joke, I went through the deck and you'll see I turned one card uh, the opposite way in the pack and it's the six of clubs. <laughs> I don't know. For the exact reason that you were just the, yeah. We're very similar. <laughs> or it's the champagne. <laughs> we drank the same champagne, maybe that's what did it. Wow. That's fun. Wow. So like at TSA, they're going through my luggage, they're like, yo dude, what do you do? What do you have all this crap? I'm a magician. Show me something. Yeah, what are the bolt cutters for? <laughs> That's a different trick. <laughs> That's for nighttime Dude, magic. that I am 
ultimately impressed by what has happened here so far. And um, and there is you've got there's a lot going on in New York this week. You're at uh, you're at Caroline's starting yeah. tomorrow night. So tomorrow night through Sunday night with two shows on Friday and Saturday. Exactly. Caroline's on Broadway. Six shows in the next four nights. What is what's that experience all about? What, what do people like, see see there? Is there's 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 Magic for Humans, which is magic on TV, and then there's Magic in Real Life, which is the purest, my favorite, because like we were just talking about people being kind of distracted by them trying to figure out how it works or, oh, is there something sneaky going on on the TV screen here? You're just there. You don't even, you know, you're seeing it with your own eyes, so you can really focus in on the wonder of it all. And, you know, for me, I've been a live performer since I was 12, doing colleges and comedy clubs and theaters, so it's it's my favorite thing to do every show. Like, I'm a very kind of... I try to be in the moment. I try to really live in the moment, especially when I'm live on stage, because it's one of the few times, like, for 90 minutes a night, my phone is not on me, you know? Yeah. It's either when we're sleeping, our phones are not on our person, or for me, when I'm on stage. I threw my telephone in the trash can five months ago, and I'm not going to replace it. I threw it 30 feet across a bar into a trash can, and that it landed in the trash can I took as a sign to mean I don't need a mm-hmm. telephone any longer, and I do not have a phone. I'm in a pretty communication heavy. Dude, that's why it was so I'm hard still... to reach you today. <laughs> yeah. I got a landline, but it doesn't ring. It just plays. Wow. <laughs> it's down by my feet, so I don't always get it. Did you then let the trash get emptied and Yeah, well the bartender said, Are you gonna get that? I was like, No, you saw it. It it's staying. Wow, I'm impressed. Yeah. That's truly living in the moment. Yeah. Well, Forever. for a lot of the same reasons. Yeah. Was, how exact... much champagne was involved in that decision? Plenty, dude. Yeah. It started at Coney Island, ended up in Williamsburg, threw the phone in the trash. It'll be there forever. But you threw a phone from Coney Island to Williamsburg? <laughs> yes. I ate a lot of spinach that morning and just hucked it. Yeah. Ka- Kaepernick, watch out. You got the arm. <laughs> Goodness. But for the same reason. I mean, staying present and being in the moment and not being that guy all the time, especially at shows doing that yeah. thing. You know, yeah. it's important to yeah. stay and speak with human beings. Exactly. We're here. I mean, we're all here together. That's And that's what I I mean, I important. think that's what I love a lot about having a, a crowd, especially in a small venue like Caroline's, is that everyone does kind of become a unit, you know? And I kind of often watch people cuz when when everyone reacts to magic a little differently. Some people love it, some people resist it. And some people like like when you're watching it on TV, you're you're the only one to check in with. So you're like, I think I'm I think this is this is freaking bonkers, but I don't have anyone to verify with. But live, you're like, what the hell? And you, you see people kind of look to the left or the right. They're like, you're also freaking out too? Okay, okay. And I feel and you feel comfortable then to freak out. You know, so everyone kind of becomes this they they become kids again a little bit, yeah. you know? But they lose their self consciousness. As an audience member, you're often very self conscious. You don't want to be the loudest to laugh or the loudest to clap or Oh my God! You know you yeah, kind of want sit in the front row ever. God forbid you get called I know, out by I know the comedian and the magician at the same time. It's a double whammy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, dude, you're doing wonderfully in your career. If Caroline's is a small room for you. I mean, that's well, a, it's um, it, what, what kind of it's what, what sort of venues are you playing most of the time? I you know I just started kind of doing theaters that you know seven eight hundred seats, which nice. are. Any bigger than that, you know, and I need I, I would need like TV screens, you know, which kind of I think makes it feel not intimate because then people are watching the screen yeah. and you're right there, mm-hmm. but they're watching the same size you on a screen. So, uh, but Caroline's is about 300 people, but it's packed tight. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a good human den- density of humans vibe. Cool, man. We'll have a take great off my card sh- again. If that's yeah, cool. yeah. We just turned off the air conditioning, so we'll oh, continue to rise in temperature. Oh, this is good. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. And the internet's all watching. Is this is this part of something? Did you just start something right now? Or are we into something? Damn, something wouldn't it be great if I was right like, here. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> and my son is here. <laughs> wouldn't that be cool if I just had a baby right there? <laughs> yes. <laughs> The baby was in my sleeve all morning. And then we made him cry on camera. You're like, that's amazing, but also, <laughs> that's kind of cruel. Yeah, how does, how does SAG feel about that? This is non-union today. Cheers. Cheers. This is good champs. It is, dude. It's a is fancy it champs? bottle. Yeah, it's, it's sect, S-E-K-T. Because it's German. Is German's version of champagne, yeah. Uh, do you know the German word for magic? I assume it's similar. I know Germanic is... No, I don't know either. I just no. no, it's Zauber. Zauber. Yeah, Z A U B E R. Zauber. It was more dissimilar. And than here's I how imagined. much of a nerd I am: is that I took German class in high school, while I was also obsessed with magic, and then I turned 16 and got my first car, and I got a personalized license plate. Zauber. Nice. A Missouri license plate with the German word for magic on it. 
How did you do in high school? Was that was that a popular? Uh... You're just gonna let that just fall away. <laughs> I mean, come on. That's no. either that's awesome or really doubly nerdy. Yeah, no, doubly nerdy. That was where my <laughs> brain. Nobody had knows gone. what it means. You're, it's Missouri, you know. It's good times. It's Albert. I love it, dude. How did I do in high school? I did um, okay. Yeah. B minus. I mean, you're a good looking fella, but magic doesn't tend to be the most popular of pursuits whilst growing up. It tends to be an amazing one to watch later in life, but not necessarily early on. Well, that's true. I was the only one in my high school who was a magician. And that's that's kind of... I didn't have a single magician at my high school. Not even, no? North Lake Tahoe, no. But if you did have a magician, they would have been single. Yes. <laughs> I did not. So, so you kind of, I don't know, I guess technically, by definition, as the only magician, it's unpopular, but... You are very special because you're the one magician. So it's like, hey, magic guy, hey, show me a trick. So you kind of, I don't know, I, f I felt special, you know, and that you do a thing that nobody else does. Um, magic's kind of like a unique little art form in that it's got this little pocket where it's like everyone knows about it, but there's not tons of them, you know, versus music. It's such a vast, I mean, magic, I think, is as diverse as music is in terms of genres and specialties and. And, you know, people can have 50 favorite musicians, but people never think of their 50 favorite magicians. Yeah, yeah. Except well, to me. I do. I am ultimately... My Zauber Kunstlers. You're, you're the one of three that I can name by name. I'm oh, stoked that you're good. here. And I'm very impressed by your particular brand of magic. Yeah, thank you. Um, can we see more of it? Yeah, you can. Um, yes. Wait, you, before, is, is the internet saying anything more interesting than what we're saying? I feel like we're... Doing pretty good here, but if yeah. the internet, if you comment on something and if you say something more interesting than what I am saying or what Justin's saying, it's impossible. Saying, which is unlikely, but if you do say something, we'll unless say they're it. at home drinking German champagne. <laughs> um, here, there's speak, a case of it over there. Speaking of German champagne, uh, you ever seen one of these, by the way? Yes, uh, not the mini one. I've definitely seen the regular size one. I was at uh, Trump Tower a little earlier, and I picked this up at the gift shop. It makes your hands look huge. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's a cute joke. Nice. Of all political jokes, that was adorable. <laughs> it's a tiny Rubik's Cube. Would you mix it up for me? Yes, sir. Tell me when. Yeah, just be very gentle. It is very cheap. So the giant hands will just ruin this. Here's what I love here's here's what I loved about uh, mm -hmm. my kind of time of obsessing about magic and German culture at the same time is because I, I learned about a lot of these great magicians. And there's a German magician from 1700s, Matthew Buchinger. Uh, uh, early 1700s, he was, uh, they call him the little man of Nuremberg because he was 22 inches tall. This is 100% true. 22 inches tall. He was born with no arms and no legs. Man. 100% true. Rough. Still became the most, one of the most famous magicians in Europe. Was also a musician, a marksman, a calligrapher, an artist, which to me just goes to show you what a man can accomplish when he can't touch his penis. Um, <laughs> and what I would like to do... That's, that, that was my TED Talk moment here. <laughs> do, here, do me a favor. Here, hold on to this for me. I'm going to have you uh, disinfect the cube here. Okay. This is nothing personal. But um, I often think how Matthew Buchinger did magic without arms or legs. And this is, you know, there's no YouTube videos of Buchinger doing his thing. And I imagine he had to kind of invent his own way of doing it, right? He would have never solved the Rubik's Cube if you think about it, right? Solving a Rubik's Cube requires hands. Most people today, you know, if you're gonna solve a Rubik's Cube, you kind of twist, 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 until eventually it's solved, right? But he, yeah. he doesn't have any hands, so. I just like to ponder that if he were to solve a Rubik's Cube, it might look something like this. No way. Huh. Huh. I have a mirror. You want it? <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, it's covered with spit. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. I, I know Here's that much. We'll, we'll, already we'll, we'll add it to the uh, array here. It'll become a part of the... Dude, that'll stay in there for the Robert Randolph session. Oh, there we go. Good. Perfect. A little Easter egg. Forever. Yeah. A little Easter egg for the people. <laughs> Man. Uh, 
this is exactly how I want to spend my what day is it today? Thursday does that sound right? Whatever day it is. Today's this is Wednesday, how I want to be spending it. December fourth, I believe. Um, we're so, here. We're not on our phones. We're living in the moment. That's right, dude. We're having champagne right in the middle of the day, and you just released a, a thing. If you're just joining us right now, Magic for Humans season two mm -hmm. is out right now as we speak. It just came out moments ago, and there's just uh, crazy is about to be every, streamed every, everything everywhere. being um, live at once. Is that uh, spent all year working hard creating this show. You know, like a year of my life. It came out at midnight, so I wake up, 9.30 a.m. New York time, and go on my Instagram, and there's some, there's people in Sweden who have watched had it for the whole six thing, more hours than watched the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. who, and I'm like, I just woke up, and that's a year of my life. <laughs> and, and then they're like, when's season three? I'm like, <laughs> Yeah. And these I mean, are the same people who cannot sit through three hours and 20 minutes of The Irishman. Three hours and 20 minutes is too much. Yeah, the entire true. season of everything else, you are down to sit, I don't know what that is. You're down to yeah, sit there sitting. and watch the entire But it's, isn't, it's, yeah, it's interesting. I'm glad, I, I would, as a viewer, I know, I would rather have the option to continue watching the next one, the next one, the next one. But, yeah. Yeah. It, it creates this need for immediacy, you know. Uh, a, a right to have more now. Right. Yeah. 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 So yeah. working on it. I'll get to it. We, um, I am curious about your very favorite, uh, yeah, my thing, thing to uh, do in the entire world. Perhaps magic trick. I think we're going towards magic. Oh right yeah, now. I You're do very... have a favorite thing. Yeah, that I do, and that is one of those things that like I don't do it on TV because it's one of those things you kind of have to be there for. Uh, uh, How about the internet? Well, the internet is good because people they're watching live, so it's kind of like they're here. Mm -hmm. Um. This will be important in a second. This is a message in a bottle. It's a beautiful little image, right? Yeah, it's nice. I wrote a message to you and to the viewers. And we're sitting in front of a sting tape right now, and a police tape, so there's also, there's, Where? there's some analog message in a bottle happening right here. Check that out, dude. This is amazing. So okay. This is police from 1979 at, um, I think this one's at the Orpheum. That'll do. Okay. Oh, dude, yeah. Orpheum, 1127. Wait, what day is it today? Is it 27? No, no. we're in the wrong month. Um, yeah, 1127-79, Orpheum, wow. police. Message okay. in the bottle's on this tape. Well, good. Now that we cleared that up, yes. that's all I got. That we're out of time. No, this is <laughs> just, um, I'm going to put this behind us here, because this will be important in a second, but I just want to make sure it's in a good spot. Can I? Here, I can take one down entirely. Is that police slot on? No, it's probably off camera. Yeah, yeah, this is heavy. All right, I don't want to mess it up. You don't have a phone, you right? Own, I do not own a telephone. That's pretty cool. Does somebody have a? Does somebody have a phone that I can borrow? This is great. Justin. Marissa. Marissa, nice to meet you, Marissa. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, this is good. What kind of? Cute. Okay. What kind of phone did? What's your What's your passcode, Marissa? Six one four six. Isn't it crazy? Oh, people, tr <laughs> people trust you when you're a magician. Isn't that wild? Anything you've always wanted to know uh, what's going on in Marissa's life here? I can help you. Anything? I'm not. I'm, well, it's all. I, I'm not going to snoop around too hard. But it is always interesting to see just what kind of what people. Like what? What? What's your favorite app? Can I look through your photos? Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to. But just, you know, there's something. Good in there. Uh, Marissa. You have my, this is my favorite app. The calculator app. Yeah. Do you like numbers? I like numbers. Bob, can you see this okay? Mm -hmm. So listen, I was born July 11th at 7-11 in the morning, weighing seven pounds, 11 ounces. True story. Wow. And I like Slurpees. This is true, this is a fact. So, uh, so ever since like, I was two years old, or two days old, my parents were like, you're, 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 you're lucky, you've got lucky numbers, you know? So can I open the calculator app? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to see anything I don't want to see. So we're, let's make a lucky number right now. Okay. I'm going to type my lucky number, 711. Okay. I will hit times, beginning an equation. Take the phone. Don't hit clear or equals, but think of your lucky number. Don't say it. Just think of it. And type it. <laughs> and then hit times just once. Great. Ma Ma Marissa, what's, uh, do you remember the house you grew up in as a kid? Yes. What's the uh, last four digits of your social? <laughs> Just the last four. 5481. Go for it, type that. 5481. Yeah, 5481. 
four, uh-huh. eight, one. Times? Times. Perfect. What's the first five of your social? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Think of how old you were when you had your first kiss. Do you remember? Yes. Type the age. And then hit equals. Wow, see, I know, now I know something about you. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> That's yeah. a good story. Yeah, I felt like a, a relatively... Uh, Respectable. Average kind of a number. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you think that's average? Yeah, I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> uh, so we've made a large number here. This is 41,219,105. Good. This is our lucky number today. I'm going to write this down. Hold on to this. Don't lose that number. Would you narrate that number one digit at a time? I'm going to transcribe it. Yeah. I want to paper here. Go for it. Including commas. Okay. Four, one... Comma. Comma. Two. Mm-hmm. One. Nine. Comma. Mm-hmm. One. Zero. Five. And that's it? That's it. Look at that. Well, I, look at that. Well spaced and everything. You deserve a sniff. Okay. <laughs> got the champagne and the cup and glue now. <laughs> okay. So, can I just... I, I trust you. Yeah. 41,219,105. Okay. So, this is a number we made using numbers that mean something to me and you and Marissa, and to create this big number that doesn't mean anything yet. Would you hold this for me? Yeah. Like a mug shot, just like that? To your camera, is this Just one? like that, yeah. that's good. So, before we started this, I made a big fuss about this message in a bottle, remember? I, I had written a message, and I rolled it up, and I put it inside of a bottle that's been behind us. So I'm gonna go grab that right now. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna pop it open here, and we will remove the message. And I wrote this before we even sat down, just because I had a little, I don't know, a little feeling about something that would be very important as a takeaway from our chat. And that thing is to live in the moment. <laughs> well done, Justin. <laughs> what, it, yeah. <laughs> I can't applaud. I was going to clap, but then I was just holding Nailed this number it. the whole time. Yeah. I am... You thought the number was going to be in the bottle. Well, yeah. 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 So See? I was hoping gotcha. was happen there. Gotcha. <laughs> well, no, I, I, I used to put the number in the bottle, but people were always like, the number's going to be in the bottle. I could hear them whisper. So I didn't want to do... I don't want to do magic that you know what's going to happen, so I stopped putting the number in the bottle. I started putting a message in the bottle, live in the moment, like a little TED Talk kind of thing. You look pissed. <laughs> You're a little bummed. <laughs> well, I, I was no, very, I get very it. impressed. No, because we create. You were like, uh, yeah. You can. You know. Okay. Few people can handle magic and message, but you can. Okay. Listen. Live in the moment's correct if you think about it. Because the people that are right now watching live, right, and the people that are in this room, and you and I, this will, this moment will never happen again, right? This, this exact moment. Sure, we are living in it. Yeah, and this is a beautiful day today. We're celebrating it because it's the, f- it's December four- 4th. Sounds right. Today is the 4th of December, which is the 12th month. The year is 2019, oh and if you guys God. check your phones right now, at Eastern time is exactly <laughs> 1.05 p.m. Wow, dude. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, my Damn. mind is bent and uh, not Thank all the way that. broken, but bent just a little bit here. We appreciate this so very much. Thank you so uh, much. Dude, come back every day if you want. Okay. And keep doing this. <laughs> we don't need cameras. Um, season we two. We will need this. Yeah. Oh, we got plenty, man. There are cases upon cases over there, and we can get right into it, because your show's not until tomorrow. I mean, the show, the Netflix show is out everywhere in the world. Yeah, Caroline's but I don't need to tomorrow. be sober for that. <laughs> yeah. I don't need to be sober for that either. Let's do it up. Come on. <laughs> yeah. That's right, dude. Uh, Thank so, you. season two out right now, uh, Magic for Humans. I very much enjoyed season one, Appreciate and so best of luck on everything. And, dude, this has been great, man. Thank Thanks you so coming. much. Thank you guys for watching.